It's week 15 of the National Football League, and we have Kazir White, who's now up to 60 tackles after last week's game. It's the Eagles and the Steelers. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. As the sun starts to set, we're going to see how much light is left by the end of this early evening game here on the NFL on EA Sports. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Jake Elliott is out and ready to kick this one away. And we're underway from Philadelphia. On the return, it's Jalen Rager. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Steeler offense getting out there for its opening drive of the game. And bringing them out to fourth-year quarterback and capable dual-threat producer from Ohio State, Justin Fields. Just an all-around great performance from him last week, Kate, in the win. Those two touchdowns he had played a big part in the victory, no question. But so did keeping it clean, not throwing a pick. You want to become friendly with your own defense? Make sure they don't have any extra possessions to defend. He did his job, and so... It's intercepted on the first play of the game! Picked off Reed Blankenship! And the Eagles get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Oh, baby, this stadium was already loud to start this game, Brock. But that play, it's in an absolute uproar now. <laughs> and the one thing you want to do as an opposing team is quiet the crowd, especially as a quarterback. It's your job to quiet that home crowd. But an interception, well, it does nothing but add fuel to the fire. A fever pitch now as the offense takes the field, looking for an early lead. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They run it with Saquon Barkley. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. And he is into the end zone for a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. Saquon Barkley the touchdown. Well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. A lot of answers have to be found defensively. That one right down the middle. And the Eagles will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Rager with the return here. And look at this return. The Steelers and Najee Harris making their return to the field. And you know who the ball is going to when they reach the red zone. He's currently top five across the NFL in rushing scores this season. The Steelers with some very good field position as they get set first and 10. On the carry, this is Najee Harris. And he's going to manage a lone yard on that drive up the gut. And like his dad before him, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. on the tackle. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. 
Fields out of the gun. Throw secured by George Pickett. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Now after that play, we've got somebody shaken up, and you don't want to see serious injury in the midst of their playoff push. He's being looked at here. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Off play action, it's Fields. He lofts it, deep left. That one is incomplete, couldn't hang on through the contact. First time this game, they've looked to him. And now they face second down. Going right side, Harris with it. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his old line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. And down he goes, the Eagles got him! And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You just feel this defense starting to come alive, don't you, Kate? Got their first turnover last time out. Now they put their first sack on the board. And big plays on that side of the ball, well, they can come in bunches. Defense sure hopes to keep this faucet going, and the offense wants to turn the spigot off immediately. And he gets his offense in better field position here to start. Up close to the 30. This one returned for 11 yards. And the Eagles will take possession. They're out and set. First and 10. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. That's cut. It's Saquon Barkley. It's a race down the right side. And he gets in. Touchdown, Philadelphia! The Eagles get another six to make this a 13-0 game. Saquon Barkley, the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. The point after splits the upright. And the Eagles drive out to an early 14-0 lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Rager with the return here. He stopped on the return at the 27. Pittsburgh getting its offense all set to go. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, no, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. They're carried by Harris here to start the drive. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. From the 46, into traffic, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Harris gets it on the counter. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. We're a quarter of the way through on this chilly winter afternoon. 
It's a two-score game early. We'll return to the link right after this. Second quarter, all queued up and ready to go. It's Steeler football. They have second and pretty long here. Snared by his running back, it's Najee Harris. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Translatable skills, that's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. This time they're gonna get there and they drop it. And the defense comes through, and that's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step trap? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. The Eagles and Saquon Barkley ready to take over once again. And he's played a major impact in their passing game, too. Look at this. We're near the end of the season, and he's leading all NFL backs in receiving yards. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Hurts now from the gun. He's got Devontae Smith. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First down, a run with Barkley. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. He'll hook them there on the stop. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. It stops in on the catch. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano y mano and stop this guy. You gotta have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to run right through you. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Able to get it to Barkley. And he's brought down for a loss. Trying to work quickly now. Shotgun snap for Hertz. This one's caught. And they're gonna get this down to the four before being stopped. Offense in the hurry up now. Barkley gets it on third down. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Offense up to the line fast. Throwing from the gun. Vacates quickly left side. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Philadelphia! The Eagles get more points to end the lopsided first half. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down. Didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind. But you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. It's all set for the kickoff. 
Calvin Austin on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Second and three. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? They motion the slot man right. Well, last play didn't work out too well. Looks like they're going ground game now. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Cameron Johnston on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. Starts his return from the 23. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And they'll have a chance to run one play before time expires. He'll throw it. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to let this go deep down the right side of the field. We're at halftime here in Philadelphia. And the Eagles have soared to a lead at the break. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Brian Robinson, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, we get up to the Rocky Mountains to check on the Broncos at home in Denver. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Josh Reynolds, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Allen Robinson leading the way with three touchdown catches. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He found the end zone twice, once on the ground and once in the passing game, as he proved he's anything but a one-dimensional running back. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. And for the call, let's rejoin. Kate Scott and Brock Heward. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Now Boswell on to send this away. Return coming from the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. The Eagles returning their offense and this running back to the field. And he's been putting together what should finish as a true standout campaign. Right now, top five across the league in rushing. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Running right, it's Barkley. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. He's been a fixture for them all game, and all signs indicate Brock he's going to remain one in the time we've got left. Yeah, they've leaned on him in certain spots, and he has shouldered the load oh so well. Put together a game that everyone's happy with. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down, and they go right back to it. And they take him down right along the 30. They're working quickly here. On second down, here's Barkley. 
And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Hurts. Has him on the quick hitter. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down. A nice to see. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? Trying again, following the sack. Escapes the pocket. This fine Smith. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Patrick Queen arranging in for the tackle. It's one thing to draw all these routes up when you're in the pocket. It's quite another when a play breaks down. Timing on routes change when you leave the pocket and scramble. What a great adjustment to still deliver a clean ball. Touchdown, Philadelphia! And they've loved the scoring production he's brought out of their offense. That touchdown gives him 10 on the season. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Eagles continue piling on to this lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. On the return, here comes Austin. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now Pittsburgh's offense running back out for a new series. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Going to Harris to start the half. And he's caught after a game of about two. Nicobe Dean in on the tackle. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. He'll motion a tight end left. This is Harris on second down. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Harris once more. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're gonna mark him at the 48. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. They give to Harris from the gun. And it's almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Brought to the ground by Kaiser White. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. The Steelers have possession, but this game, pretty one-sided as we start the fourth. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. 
Now it's Field. Finds him over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Fields. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. It's a pickup of 11. And that's a Steelers first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. A handoff for Harris running right. And he gets absolutely popped to end that one. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Here we go. Staying on the ground with Harris. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. They give to Spiller from the gun. And he's hit at the line of scrimmage. The run outside returns nothing. Couldn't manage even a yard on that run. So now it's fourth down. A pistol snap. Fields. He finds him beyond the marker. And this is down all the way to the three. What a call. They wind up with 12 on fourth down and pull off the conversion. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Steelers just want to get out of here with how this one is gone. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here we go. Out of the shotgun, Fields. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Field throwing here. Escapes. And they take this in for the score. The Steelers putting up points in a game decided. It's a Justin Fields touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, Turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Well, I guess they kind of had to do it here, bro. Yeah, it's called a have to. Yeah, kind of have to at this point in the game, huh? Okay, but like most things in this game, it did not work out for them. Yeah, let's face it. Even if they do recover that, probably not going to find a way to win. But this is a time where you work on things, where you do build to the following week. Got to find a way to flush this because it's just not been their kind of game. Second down now, seven to go. Gonna go with Barkley on the counter. Room to run inside the 20. And he's finally taken down at the seven yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. They're gonna run with Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. The loss sets him up at the nine-yard line. It's second and goal. He'll try again with Barkley. And he takes this down close up to the three. Well, this certainly has been a memorable contest for him. His coaches, man, they're going to take this kind of output every single game. This goes a little beyond the expectations they have for him, maybe even for himself. What impresses me so much, Kate, the guy just doesn't tire getting stronger, literally, as this game's going on. So it's an Eagles win here in this one. 
And it's harder and harder not to mention, Brock, the possibility of an undefeated season as they add another to their total here in the penultimate month of the campaign. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. The Eagles are winners as we say so long from Philadelphia.